These soldiers are being escorted to the glass house. They've broken British military law. With effect now, you will march in this establishment. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You will march in this establishment at 140 paces to the minute with your arms up shoulder high. Anytime any member of staff in this establishment speaks to you, you will come to the position of attention. You will remain at the position of attention until that staff tells you to carry on. Staff. 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 These men are Grenadier Guards, sentenced to four months' detention for assault. A thousand men and women from all three armed services get locked up here each year. Maximum sentence, two years. It's the strictest penal regime in Britain. Horsburgh staff. Admit safe custody awardee. 112 days staff. Get in here. Have you ever attempted or succeeding an escape from military or civil custody before? Never staff. Have you ever participated in the taking of drugs other than those prescribed by a medical officer or a doctor? Never staff. Do you have any homosexual tendencies? No, staff. Do you have any suicidal tendencies? No, staff. Right, outside, stand next to the house. You are safe custodies. A long tie and a white tie. You will wear those tags at all times. Should you be caught by a member of staff not in possession of those tags, you are leaving yourself open for disciplinary action taken against you. Do you understand me so far? Staff. Whilst in this establishment you march about in a smart and soldier-like manner at 140 paces to the minute with the arms swinging shoulder high and looking up. Roger so far. Staff. Staff. You're going to do bed space three, so that's across there. Put your kit down on the floor, then get back down the bottom, keep your bed in. One double, that's pretty close. Let's go to the move, let's get it done sharply. Let's go! Come on, catch it up, get up there. Get it on the bed, get it on the mat. Come on, let's go. Come on, hurry up, you ain't got long, let's get it moved. A bit of a shock to the system. Let it go. So that the end of civilization as we know it, I sort of think. I mean, I'm used to that, a bit of rifting around, being the guards, but. Big shock. People shouting and screaming at you. I just want to keep my nose clean and just get out of here, do the time and get on with my life. People arrive here just not knowing what's going to happen to them. The trauma of coming through receptions and through the main gates uh, and so on is perhaps a little bit off-putting and they're very ruffled by the time they get to the wing. Stand still! Get it. Stand still! Get covered up! Cover up! Come on, move your feet sharply! Still! Stand still! Look down on your feet. You twist at an angle, aren't you? Come on, basics. Where was you on public duties? Uh, Buckingham Palace. Um, Buckingham Palace, Garden Her Majesty the Queen. Sir. And you can't even stand to attention properly. 690 Horsburgh, sir. Look down on your feet. Another guardsman. 45 degree angle. Close your feet in. Come on, you've been on public duties? Have you? Sure. 
Come on, then. You should know better, shouldn't you? This pack's not packed very well, is it? Hey? No, sir. Come on, then. Let's get it together, all right? You wouldn't pack your rucksack like that to go out in the field, would you? No, sir. Don't call me staff, all right? Sure. Right, brasses. Showbread. Number nine. In fact, you was on showbread last nine. week for your right, brasses, were you, were you not? No, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Well, they are honking. You've got no excuse. Nine. Partly, sir. There's a very structured system here which uh, people un clearly understand, and if you step over it, you get put back into it. Your boots are bogging at the back here. Put them on show period, staff. Sorry. Number nine. Six, six, five. Occasionally we get servicemen here who simply refuse to do anything, and we eventually have to resort to rather more unfriendly means to get them to cooperate. What is it doing in your room? Forgot it, sir. You forgot it. Put him on show parade. What's up? And those boots so they can Murray. And the show Thank boots. What's up? Murray. I'm getting worried about you, Thank Murray. You. I'm getting worried about you. Murray, show parade, Damien, the other day. Continue as you go, you know what's going to happen to you, don't you? Some of it is carrot, some of it is stick, and it's a, a well known set of principles that works in the services. Change stuff! Change stuff! Change stuff! Bradley, cut the right arm in. Change stuff! That's better. Uh, the average serviceman's perception of Colchester um, makes him not wish to come here. Put simply. Many of the inmates are not frontline troops. They're cooks and clerks, unused to being pushed to the limit. We reward for effort here, so the harder a person tries, the more privileges we will grant him and the quicker we'll let him or her out of here. Every inmate faces kit and room inspections twice a day, every day. Garbage, all right. Show parade. Right, you've obviously done the brasses. However, when you're putting the brasso on them, you're getting all the brasso on the webbing of the bag. You need to scrub that down tonight. Start. Get all the white stains off it and redo the brasses. Do you understand? Yes, start. Good, turn around. Look your boots. Staff. Berry's dirty. Staff 680 Murray, staff. EPDR 22nd of February, staff. Yeah. Sentence 42 days, week two, staff. All right, your bed block's coming on. All right, it's not to standard yet. Staff's coming on. Turn around. They haven't been touched either, have they? Yes, staff. Bollocks. Show parade tomorrow night. Did you use brasses last night? Yes, staff. What with boot polish? No, sir. Garbage. All right. Show parade. Tomorrow night. Bed block. Crap. All right. Stop. You need to sort that out. Heap of garbage. Staff Taylor speak to you all about the bed blocks yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. One or two have improved slightly. The rest of them, however, are still pretty bloody abysmal, aren't they? Look like an exploding sofa. Get some more work done on them. Yay! You, give the rest of the room a hand. Show them what's required, OK? Keep the noise down, wait for distribution. Come on, aggression! Fight up here! Fight up there! Come on, race, that's it! Good, well done! Fight up there! Fight up there! Inmates regularly have to race each other with telegraph poles. Women in the glasshouse take this punishment with the men. 
but have separate living quarters. F section. Stand by, Biz. Who did the bathroom? Staff, right staff. Right, these mirrors. Staff. You pay more attention to them mirrors, right? About turn. About turn. It's all muck on here. All fluff. Not very good, are you, right today? Private Wright is 19. She's only been in the regular army a few months. There's lots of dust. I told you to take charge. Don't smile at me. I said to clean that bathroom. I told you last night to do it properly. Wright has been sentenced to 27 days for disobeying an order and making a false accusation. She was scared of the glass house. Make sure you press it properly. Just don't forget the sleeves now. Yeah. I'd cried, I'd kicked off at the depot. I was not coming here for the life of me. What anybody said, I thought I was going to... I had pictures of it. I had dreams of it, like that it was going to be like this big white house and everything. And there's going to be loads of women there that were massive, absolutely huge, blaring at me and telling me that I was wrong and I was going to get beasted up and down here, there and everywhere. You know, like you see those prisoner of war camps. I walked in through the gates, and this chap just stood there. He says, Me stand on that dot. And you can see my corporal flinch next to me, never mind about me. Because Colchester is where all the really bad people go. I mean, I'll be right nutter to end up in Colchester. <laughs> Take him over now, eh? Gotta start working now. Come on, 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 If you talk to any of them, they all think they shouldn't be here. Because everybody's here and they know that they're here for disciplinary reasons, everybody's done something wrong. So you, you get closer to people, really, because they all know you're here and that you've done something wrong. You're not, you're not worried about it because, you know, they're here and they've done something wrong as well. Inmates also have to brush up communication skills by giving formal lectures. Right. Hi, my name's Gail. I'm going to talk to you about my life because I haven't really got anything else to talk about, so I'm going to chat about that. I started bunking off school when I was about 10. I was suspended quite a few times, and eventually, when I walked through the door with a brown envelope in my hand, my mum used to say, Not suspended again, Gail. And so I used to go to sailing club when I was at school, and uh, I got kicked out of that, being disruptive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you do. <laughs> then I went, joined the TA when I was. Uh, 17, just before my 18th birthday, I joined. Then uh, I decided that the TA wasn't really good enough for me. I wanted to do the regular army, mountain climbing, walking down the beach with a bloke on your arm. I thought, yeah, it's just for me. Little did they tell me I was going to end up in Colchester. Who did the bathroom? Star 674, right, sir. All right, I can't find anything at the moment. Come here. Look at I started grinning then when she said, Oh, there's something wrong with the bathroom. And then she found the dirt on the bottom by the porch. I didn't even do it, did I? <laughs> what we're we actually looking for. Um, is, are they improving? Obviously they've come here, their standards may be high, but they've got to improve, and this is what we're looking for, an improvement. Wright isn't showing any improvement, and she's been summoned to the chief petty officer who runs F section. Why did... that happen? Why did you not clean the bathroom properly this morning? Had when Staff Morgan told you to make sure it was clean properly, make sure you do it this afternoon. I will check it personally. About to. Quick march. 
Um, I'm not sure what she's actually in for. We do get a brief outline, but that's not our real concern, what they've done. It's how they perform while they're here. Um, and some people perhaps need a little bit more supervision and uh, a bit of advice more than others. She'll come back in tomorrow afternoon. She'll do a show parade then. We've already had one this week, so it's not much trouble. I had one yesterday, and if you get three in a row, you get extra days. Control the aggression. Your life may depend on it. Detail. Oh the military oh crimes of inmates range from disobedience to assault with deadly weapons and murder. Come on all the way up, Richie! Push it in! What's this? The little method! Stop! Rest back! Get straight in there. One, one straight through. Wind them up, Matthews. Wind them up. Come on, Richie! He's killed your mother and your father! You don't like him! Okay! Okay! Let's go! This is Alpha One One in position now. While they're being punished, those held in the glass house must refine their killing skills. They're not officially in prison, but the authorities call them Soldiers Under Sentence, SUS. Only one has ever dared to try and run away. It works and trusts this place, and we work out after we've seen an SUS through the system for a certain amount of time. We will work out whether we trust him or not, and if we do trust him, we'll, we will reward him and send him up through the system. And if they step out of line, they know perfectly well that they'll be put back in line. Shoot your ass! Get out of here! Unless you're excused, Martin, get over there! Come on, hurry up! Get over! Dress across! Trafficking! You was briefed the other day, I'm going to tell you again. You do not give or receive from anybody any prohibited articles. You do not give cigarettes, lend money, buy the extra Mars bar, pass anything from one person to another. The rule is there to stop the bullying. The people who think they'll have a bit more than everybody else. You're all paid, you all get the same amount of money, you're all entitled to the same things. Is there anybody that doesn't understand what I mean by trafficking? What we are trying to do is to rehabilitate in some respect personnel. And, and so you've got to have discipline, you've got to have a system. And I suppose it doesn't really matter what system you employ, so long as that system works. Here, have you got anything on you you shouldn't have? No staff, just the locker key. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, staff. Ask you again, have you got anything on you shouldn't have? Yes, no staff. Okay. Positive staff. MTO contents at your pockets, take your berry off, place on the chair. We've been working. Ah, uh, staff. Staff enforce the anti-trafficking warning. It's a surprise search. Okay, take left boot off. As I told him to take his right sock and his boot off, he, his, he took it off and just behind it or underneath his foot, I saw a wrapper. Initially I thought it was a Mars bar wrapper or something. And whilst I respected further, it was tobacco. I asked him what he did with it, why he had it in his possession, he said he didn't know it was there. And what can you say? You've been rather fooled at yourself, haven't you? Yes, sir. This is not the first time you've come in front of me. All right? I'm starting to get a little bit tired of you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. One more time, you're going to be stepped out, I can assure you, when you go in front of the wing commander, he's not going to look very lightly upon it. And you could end up in close confinement. When I give you four, wait till, wait till right, get away to your room. Four. Private Raw was also caught with excess tobacco. He faces trial. The staff prepare their case. I told everybody before he went out this morning, that he wasn't to take anything so, out, less for the two cigarettes. He's not the director. No, sir. I mean, this is it. Chief can't say. You can't have hearsay. 
you have got to say what you told them, giving evidence, and Cheeseworth has got to say uh, what he found. OK, sir. Oh, it's as simple as that. Yeah, that's nice. Sir. The rest of them got told they weren't allowed to have back you with them. I'd come in here to get me buried when they were getting told. Come out, I'd back you on me. Nicked. Tesco's and accused, step off together, quick, march, left, right, left, right, Tesco's and accused, halt! Right, turn! Dressing back for somebody. One piece for the rear. March! Are you 536 Raw? Yes, sir. You are charged uh, on today's date with contravening the Imprisonment and Detention Army Rules 1979, Rule 837. Do you understand the charge? Yes, sir. Staff Cheeseworth. Sir, I carried out this uh, search and discovered prohibited articles on 536 Raw, i.e., um, cigarette butts, sir. I asked him as to where they came from. He said they came from the staff restroom. I then put them on your report, sir. Are you guilty of this event, Raw? Yes, sir. Are these the cigarette butts that are referred to? Yes, sir. You have been here long enough to know better than this. In fact, it's your second time round, is it not? Yes, sir. Right. Then you will lose three days remission. March out. Right. Turn! Step off together. Quick. March! Lift! Right! Lift! Right! As was an accused. Halt! The chaps that are here, for the most part, are here because they have had no self-discipline or because they've broken the rules. Our rules... Um, are fairly straightforward. Uh, they all understand them. Uh, they're repeated to them you know, time and time again to make sure there's no misunderstanding. So when um, a serviceman under sentence actually flaunts those rules, um, as he had, uh, then there is no option but to be harsh with them because they have to be shown that this is not to be tolerated. I goofed. I messed up. <laughs> what do you find this morning? Good stuff. Eh? Good stuff. Do you want to go back down there again? Do you want another fucking rerun? No, well, you best sort your act out, aren't you? How many more days are you going to lose before you leave? No, you don't know. You don't particularly bother eh? You've got a choice. You either sort your act out or you'll stay here forever. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Get your nose thoughts. Get out of here. A lot of them are very immature people. And that's the standard that we're getting in the army nowadays, unfortunately. They've got a lot of brain, but they just like maturity. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and Private Wright's in trouble again. Sir, six, seven, four, right, sir. Right, you've got a button under. Come on, you've got to get yourself dressed before you come on parade. Put her on show parade when you get back to the section. Yes. Wright was charged this morning on show parade, on the A-wing parade. Her button was undone and her collar was out. She was charged because on the 28th of January, she had a formal warning by me because she's been picked up now six times. After this, she will be charged three days remission. She'll lose it and she'll be here for an extra three days. Wright is also in danger of losing more remission for not trying. Sir? She's now got to see the training officer. Get out. Get out, Wright. Get a move on her when she gets in my office, otherwise she'll be in that truck one. Yes, sir. When you go up to the captain, what should you do? Salute! Wright lacks a sense of direction and purpose in life. Wright will work, and that's the frustrating thing again about it. If Wright couldn't work or couldn't produce the standards, then I could understand that. But Wright, when she, when she cares to put a mind to it, can. Right, sir. Yes, Close the door, please. Yes. Right, I don't expect you to have to be told how to march into an office at this stage of your training. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You're before me because I'm not happy with your performance, right? Yes. However, this week, there's a distinct uh, note that you're not trying. And that I won't tolerate. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. That is your caution, and I will annotate your report as such. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Right. March out. Salute. She'd been warned, she'd been cautioned by the staff that, you know, she needed to pull her weight. And she'd got, I believe, an E for attitude. 
And I don't mind if people get E's or F's, providing that they're not getting E's or F's for attitude. I never ever want to see the army again in my life. As long as I live. I never want to have anything to do with the army again. It stinks. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. This salute to the right. Make sure the salute comes from the rear. Down. Salute to the front! Salute! Oh, rubbish, rubbish! Yeah, right, yeah, right! Boot right, first time, what's going to get? The glass house regime demands that everything must always be in the right place and spotless. Don't get no more recommendations for that, Cole. What? Right, ladies and gents, uh, brief for this afternoon. Um, first one, Bradley. Welfare has stated to him that his admin discharge has now been approved. He's under the psychiatric help as well. He's consequently he's on a downer. Um, he is emotionally disturbed as well, so we need to keep an eye on him. All right. He's been taken off training wing, however, on Friday, he starts from square one again, and if he gets picked up on the wing start major's inspection on Friday, then he's marking time. That's as simple as that. All right? Turn the facial locker, Bradley. If you look down at your pumps down underneath your chair, make sure you square them off before you put them underneath the chair, okay? Right, you're just starting to get a bit of dust collecting up around your box. So when you do remove that within the next day or so. Well, I spoke to you the other day about the shirts. Right, you want to make sure you pay particular attention to this lot. Get these lines, join it up together, flatten it off. Okay, turn right. Bradley can't or won't get his kit right. After a few weeks here, most others can and do. Yeah, it's got to run parallel all the way along. Yeah, totally square. It's usually about four or five weeks before you'll start getting recommends for your locker. You take pride in your locker, you take pride in having a good locker, obviously. It's just a lot of faffing about, really. Once you've been here for a, a long time, it starts to, to grow on you. Uh, it's just uh, quite weary now, like, every, t every day I wake up. It's the same thing up at six, uh, bed at eight, work and uh, inspections every day for six, seven months. Just uh, gets to you like, it's the death of me, <laughs> <laughs> these boots. Staff 67 cured, send in 60 days EPR, 16 of February staff. Better you would. We're getting there. Surprise, even the locker's been dusted out this morning. Makes a change. Staff 665 Flame, one of six days detention. You've had 9th of February, week four staff. A third of those in the glass house are being thrown out of the forces as part of their punishment. Staff but for now, Collins, they too are subject to the staff sergeant's absolute rule. When you're standing tall with somebody, don't stand there moving. Shows a lack of confidence. <laughs> some of them are okay. I mean, some of them are, are, are good blokes, but some of them are complete arseholes. They really are. And I mean, they, they just stiff you any way they can. If one of them takes a dislike to you, under Rule 83, that's it, bang, he's got you. And he can give you extra days just for disliking you, which isn't fair, really. Staff! Yeah. Oh. If you've got fluff on your berry three times during the time you're here, you can get three extra days, which is which is diabolical. If I give him a cigarette, I'll get three days. And he can get says if the staff seem to think you could be attempting to do any of these things, so basically if you breathe or fart out the fucking direction, then they could do you for it. There is an improvement as it was on Monday. There's still room for more improvement. Just because you're being discharged doesn't mean that you can slacken off. Understand, lads? 
Staff. So, when I come back in tomorrow, it's going to be even better, isn't it? Staff. Yeah. Like I said, rape distribution. Morning inspections, they're all important because, you know, the serviceman knows exactly where he stands. His kit, his turnout, it's never normally quite right in the first days here. They're put on show parade, they're advised, they're given um, a verbal warning. There is a great deal of hassle at that stage. This morning's inspection is more important than usual. It's by an officer. He's looking for the best room. Right, we check the jackets, uh, Sergeant Major. He's renowned for his attitude to dust. Sir, my Sergeant Major, sir. Where are you from? Prize sir. Right. You ready? Yes, sir. Where did you get that hat from? Get that pink skirt. Have a bit, will it? Sir. Right, do you recognise that? Yes, sir. Right. Six zero nine number, sir. Right. Do you recognise that? Okay. Attention to detail. Make sure that you check off your bed space area. Do you understand? Yes. Sir. Thanks, Arthur. Right. The radio. Yes, um, both those rooms had dust. That room was the best, OK? So they've won the radio right, for this sir. week, if you like to know. Room 39, sir. The right, inmates sir. will only get the radio for two right. hours a night. Right. They don't have TV. Well done, gents. All right? You obviously got the best room this week. You've got yourselves the radio, OK? Sir, sir. Right on. Keep the standard up. Don't drop it just because you've got the radio this week. Do you understand? Aye, sir. sir. Right. Sort yourselves out now for training. Having a radio actually is um, a considerable perk to them, and so yeah, to that end, it's important. But I think, from my point of view, uh, the fact that it makes them work together as a team, as a room, uh, to meet an objective, then that's um, that's the purpose of the radio. I think the setting of standards, no matter what they are, is important. Um, again, it introduces an element of competition. In it, also introduces uh, the possibility of one SUS shining against another and therefore you know making himself stand out the only, the only thing we're not used to is like the bullshit the the pressing and that not really into it no need for it doesn't win walls and stuff does it by the job then stay on the wall for the two needs to be taught i don't want to hear any clutching or banging of weapons keep all of them any questions no, no, sir. Sir. any questions no, no, sir. Sir. stand by go get your weapons get him get him get him get Come on, work hard, work hard, aggression, you don't want to do it, come on. I said, good lad, well done, that's good, that's good, keep it up. Good, now keep going, keep going. Good lad, well done. Don't give in, it's in the mind, it's in the mind, keep going. Good lad, aggression, come on, aggression. Edward. Over and over. Why have you stopped? You're giving in! Don't give in! No. Come on, mate! Come on, well done! Well done! Well done. Well done. Well done. That's good! Well the inmates of the glass house call this beasting. Private Ride will soon be released. The staff ensure he'll know how to behave when he says farewell to the commanding officer. Do not salute or attempt to salute the commandant. If you make any hand movements towards him, the RSM will pounce on you. Right. Once he leaves the glass house, Ride is also out of the army. He says he deliberately got himself thrown out by smoking marijuana. Because I'm only 18, I would have had to have done, I've done two years now, and I would have had to have done another three years before I was allowed to leave the army. And I thought that was a bit, bit um, too much of a commitment. 
um, saying, you know, leaving when you're 22, 21. And I wasn't really prepared to make that um, step. So I thought, get out, you know, within 60 days and start again, back into Civvy Street. Is there only one best way to hit Did you take him off to clean him? No, you didn't, did you? Right? A, you're not cleaning them properly. And B, you will damage the uniform because you'll get brasso all over it. Before he can get out, Ride faces his toughest inspection so far. Point two. The boots are filthy. Get your boots sorted out, come back carrying them, get your brasses on your collar and sort it out. Go! He's a problem, Chair. When he first came in, he was very um, untidy. He hasn't improved much at all. This kit was uh, in very bad order. Now it's just in bad order. <laughs> fair, fair enough to everyone else that's soldiering on. They're, they're doing it for a purpose to become better soldiers, but for us, this, this is supposed to make me a better Give civilian. A so you can't beat the system, can you? You can't beat the system, and self-admittance to drugs, like, but we're all druggies. I don't mind to get out of the army, and so I've done my 60 days, right, and now well, I'm out. He's getting other staff problems um, with his attitude um, and his inattention to detail, basically. He's a very immature young man. Make sure you took your shirt and save the jacket. Do you need glasses? Yes, sir. You still got a smudge. Top left hand corner, yeah. Yeah, fingerprints still on it. This is the second thing you've been on. Hold your hand out, take the boots, go away, come back in five minutes, with your brushes done properly, and your boots pause underneath. 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 Left hand. March. Some people. If the face doesn't fit anyway, they get put down as an attitude problem. Only the staff don't try and tell them that. They just put them down as an attitude problem or get them to have an attitude anyway. So either way, they could have you whatever way they wanted to have you. There's always going to be an element of the face fits, do you know what I mean? I mean, some people are just characters and they'll stand out. Have you felt yourself um, to be improved? Have you let it lay this experience? Not really, sir. It's just a fuck about from the beginning. Why? Because 60 days discharge for self-confession of drugs is just it's a pointless being here, isn't it? Just wasting your time and everyone else's. Yeah. Yeah. Keep working. You've got one and a half minutes now. <laughs> Things running out for you and me. It's going to be before and after. <laughs> we'll probably end up throwing them, so... <laughs> It's just, it's the last night and they think this is the last time that they can fuck me about ever. So, that's basically what it is. They're getting their money's worth. For private ride, the crunch has come. Here, bitch, down. No, I'm not going. Right, let's try this thing, OK? You come down. You got it. Be head down. The staff have the power to delay his release if he fails again. Now, what's you doing these? So now they're done. Yeah? Sorry, sir? Now, what's you doing these? So now they're done. Come round. Stop shaking, Ray. You're racing. You're quite comfortable tomorrow, Commandant? Yes, staff. You've been through it, have you? Yes, staff. About done. Take a bit, sir. Okay. We require a bit more work on tonight during the lockup period. Okay, staff. But they're much better than they were five minutes ago. Okay. So, good luck tomorrow when you get out. OK? Left hand. Match. Radio! Radio! Working. Don't bring it. Cheers, sir. Just before eight at night, and the platoon in room 39 get their hard-won radio. Genuine music. Third week in a row, this room is one of. Third week room in this room's going. Supreme platoon. Creme de la creme. This is the platoon. We always win it. It's just. You know, it's just <laughs> no, we not. always get the radio. No, we don't. Third week room is saying something. Everyone in this room's been in about seven, eight weeks, so you start to get the grips of the score after a bit, like. 
Private Raw is in the glass house for six months. He knifed another soldier. It's just all weird stuff. A lot of it's like music influence. I'm into heavy metal and things like that, so it's, it's all the evil stuff that comes out of there. That's that came from an idea of a song I've got. By, I've got a group, uh, a group called Commando, which are a bit of a punk group, and they did a song called Subhuman. So, and I started off, and it started off like that much, and it looked quite attractive in that. And I thought, the, you know, the, he's going to start thinking I'm saying or something. So I pulled her eye out and put a robot sort of eye in. <laughs> He's actually done some of his own tattoo on haven't you? That's just all sorts. Majority of it's skulls, you know. I love skulls. And, you know, it's sort of first thing, you get your first paycheck, you've got loads of money, you think, great, so you go and blow it all on stupid things. And I blew mine on tattoos. Tell them what you're in for, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing someone. He's in for sharing, yeah. sharing sharp ob objects with a friend. <laughs> I went for someone with a flick knife and got myself a six-month old day for nothing. Six eight five fifth and awarded six months EPDR thirty first of May, sir. Right, looking around, Biffy. Everyone else has got their knife on the left hand side of their utensils. Uh, attention to detail. So 652 McLaughlin Award, 112 days, EPDR 40 to February, week 5 star. Sir. Sir. Come on, there's an officer present. Thanks, sir. How long have you been here? Five weeks, sir. You want to start getting a grip of yourself? Yes, All right? Sir. Sir, 651 McMilo Award, 112 days detention, EPDR 26 of February, week 5, sir. Week 5. And after five weeks, we don't know how to put our belt on. Sir. Well, what's your excuse? There is none, sir. Do you know the rules? Male in the right hand, female in the left hand? No, sir. Will you do now? Yes, sir. Break rank. Take your belt off. Sort it out. Break rank. Really? Break rank. From here to here. I'll tell you break rank. Okay? You've done basic one, two, and three. I'm on basic three, sir. You're on basic three. Well, I shall be speaking to your drill, stru drill instructor this morning. Because if you're on basic three, you should know how to break rank. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We have to guard against having the regime so strict uh, that we don't achieve our aim, uh, that they don't get the opportunity to um, practice self discipline, which is important. At the end of the day, that's the thing that really matters. We can put as much discipline on as we like while they're here, but if when they go away they don't practice self-discipline, then we've really not achieved uh, what we're here to achieve. Private Ride is almost out of the glass house, but he faces one last beasting. You have been exercised on the Commandant's rehearsal, yes? Yes, sir. Make sure you think drill, drill, drill at all times, or you will be staying here. Step to the pace I call out. Quick! What? Just right, just right, just right! Just right, 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 there, keep it going. Step sharp. Well, I think the pace of life's important here because um, if we allowed youngsters who are in detention just to sit around feeling sorry for themselves, then that's exactly what they would do and they would fester and they, in their own minds they would brood and what was right and what was wrong with what they'd done, what we were doing to them. If we keep things on the boil, then they don't have time to reflect like that. Yeah, they've got the rank, they've got the brains, sort of thing. And you're just the Bakshi private. So it starts, you know, from there, really. You go in and you shake a bit and everyone's shouting at you beforehand. You march in quickly, you salute him. He spills off his little sentence that he's learnt at breakfast. And you march out again, and that's it. So you only see him for a couple of minutes. So... Your kit's got to be perfect, and yet he doesn't even see your boots because he's sitting behind a desk and all that lot, but it's part of the army bullshit, really. It's a good laugh, so... <laughs> S.U.S. Ride is being seen by the Glass House's second in command. You've been with us since just before Christmas, haven't you? Yes, sir. Now, you came in with drug, a drugs problem. We still got this problem. Yes, sir. Great. Because when did you start taking drugs? I was just um, 
the want, sir. Just the want. Because it is noticeable, I've read your commanding officer's report before you came here. You're a bloody good soldier. And suddenly you took drugs and you went downhill. You've been a fool so far in your life. You've only got one life. Okay, Doug? So when you go out there, keep off the drugs. But if you go back to the drugs, you're going to ruin the second part of your life. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Right. Let's go back to what you've done here. Have we been of any help to while you've been here? Um, you have and you haven't, sir. Well, how have we helped her? Um, you've given me time to sort myself out, to yeah. think about problems that I have, that I have had. And um, just generally given me the push towards Silly Street. OK. I've got to ask you, have, any, have you any complaints about the treatment you received while you've been here? No, sir. Right, all right, sir. Right, stop! Step off, quick. You're on the try. Oh, you funny. Ah! As you were, sorry. Start switching on, right? Okay, you're not a civilian yet. Brace up your shoulder, Party! As you were. Party! Party! Ah! Right, you've both been released today. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, you still look like servicemen. When you leave the establishment, make sure you don't talk about anything relating to the army, because otherwise, there's eyes and ears about everywhere. Somebody may hear or overhear what you're saying. Next thing you know, you become a target. Do you understand? Sir. Yes, sir. Remember, your hours until 23.59 hours tonight, should you get drunk on the train or commit any offences, are picked up by the military or civilian police, will be brought back with you and you'll be dealt with accordingly. We're dealing with um, a lot of service personnel who've gone off the lines, but really, they're not bad people. Uh, in fact, there's quite a lot of them that I would willingly take to war with me any time. Private Wright has received the news she's been longing for. The army has decided to dispense with her services. <laughs> she's dismissed and gets out tomorrow. The discharge is going through. Well, she's over the moon at the moment. Because... Um, She's just not cut out for the armed forces. She doesn't like discipline. She doesn't like being told what to do. We have to try with everybody that comes here, and that's our job. We try and motivate them, but some people, you just can't motivate them whatever you do. And she's just one of them people, I'm afraid. Private Wright will soon be a civilian. This is her final interview with the camp commandant. Right, sir, excuse me. She's aware it's a formality. Um, right, you're leaving here to um, to go back to Perth, right, to pick up your kit to become a civilian. Is that correct? Yes, As sir. you understand it, right? And how, how long have you been in the army? Not long. Two months and twenty-five days, sir. So what do you intend to do when you leave the army? So I'm going to be paramedic or a nurse, sir. But whatever you choose to do next time, for heaven's sake, stick at it, because otherwise you'll go through the early part of your life, going from job to job to job, and never really getting anywhere. So whatever you choose to do, and I hope you're successful being a paramedic. Stick at it and be determined to make a success of it. Right, Tan. Macho. Army number? W082531313, staff. If I never see this place again, it'll be too soon. I just. I never ever want to go into prison again in my life. Yeah. It's just, it's just a nightmare. Go. You... Right, 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 Just two minutes, we're just waiting for a bell button, mate. I can't wait to get out and just start dying to get to the train station. Be a civvy. I miss my mates, I was crying earlier. Because mates are making air a lot. Mates for life. Just glad I'm out. <laughs> Less than 6% of those sent to the glass house re offend. Civilian prisons report that nearly half of their inmates are reconvicted. My name is Major Chapman. I'm the Army Missing Officer. If any of you have any complaints, please take one step forward. Any complaints? Steering! No complaints, Steering, sir! Any complaints, Steering! No complaints, Steering, sir! Hooray! Hooray! Sir! Stand down!